The video you're about to watch was recorded last month, and it's about this Sensacap T1000, this guy right here, which is a mesh-tastic node. Long story short, I really like this thing, but after using it for about a month, maybe six weeks or something like that, the only problem with it is the charging. Sometimes you can't get the thing to charge, okay? This is, I mean, this is a great piece of kit. It really is. When I'm at ham fests and whatnot, I keep this attached to my belt loop or my belt or maybe my backpack or something like that. And this thing has excellent range. You might be surprised by the type of range it has. The way to charge it is with this waterproof port back here. The way to charge it is with this magnetic connection right here and this cable that's a proprietary cable. So it's proprietary, so I already don't like it that it much anyway. But sometimes when you connect that, it just simply will not charge. If you look right now, you might be able to see this flashing very faintly in the video. When you connect this and it actually takes a charge, this light will become bright and flash slower and you'll hear a, a tone come across the thing as well. But oftentimes, you can't get the thing to charge because for whatever reason it just doesn't it just doesn't act like it's it's connected that's the only thing now i have found a way a, a way around that that i have found so far i have a high powered usb charging brick on my dresser in my bedroom at home it plugs directly into the wall and it has five usb 3.0 uh, high powered charging ports not as high not as high powered as USB C obviously but high as high as you can get on USB A and when i plug this into that it seems to charge okay. I haven't had any trouble with it charging there. But I took this to Orlando Hemcation in February, and I was charging it, trying to charge it via charging brick or battery box, and sometimes I got it work, to work, and sometimes I didn't. And when I asked somebody from, uh, this is made by Seed Studios. I'll put a link to it in the description below. You can get them on Amazon as well. And when I asked Seed Studios about why they made this proprietary connector, they said they wanted it to be waterproof. Okay, okay. I can get that, but with this, something like this, you're going to be carrying this in your pocket. So unless you're planning on going swimming with this device, I don't really see the need for it to be waterproof. If this was an external de device you were going to put on the outside of your house or your car, then sure, okay, good. But with this thing, and the battery will last for about two days, but it's really frustrating the field when you're using it, having good luck with it, go to charge it at night, you plug it in, it won't take a charge, the battery eventually dies on you because you can't get it to charge after connecting it to two, char two or three different chargers using two or three different cables. So that's my only complaint about it. Watch this video, this video that I recorded last month, and overall, if you can get this thing to charge, this is a fantastic unit. And I traded some emails with Seed Studios, and I told them, this is my problem with it, and they're like, well, let us know. Uh, what you think, like, use it in the field, let us know what you think about it, and I said, the charging's the only problem, and I said, I'm gonna put that in the video, and they're like, okay, cool, yeah, fine, We're, we'll, uh, we'll take that to heart when we get more information on it, so, and this has been reported to them already, I'm not the first one to tell them this, so, you guys check this video out, let me know what you think in the comments below. This is the smallest, most compact, mesh-tastic device that I have ever seen on the market. It is made by Seed Corporation, S-E-E-E-D. It's just a perfect compact solution for Meshtastic to keep on your person when you're out and about, maybe at a show, maybe at a festival, maybe at a group gathering of some sort. We're gonna look at it right now. I picked this up at MeshCon, at the Spec 5 MeshCon event that happened uh, October of 2024. And I've tinkered with it a little bit. It's not a great device for long range because it's because that's that's how big it is right there. It's it's literally the size of a credit card. It's a little bit thicker this direction than a credit card, but it's literally the size of a credit card. That's it right there. There's another. I've actually got two of them, and it's got an internal battery. The internal battery will last about two days, and on this one, I put a little. I actually made this carabiner paracord rope thing. I don't know what you call these. <laughs> But uh, I bought one of these on Amazon one time and I looked at how it was wound and I'm like, dude, I could I could totally do that. I could make that myself. So so I made that and I put that on there with a little key ring on it. But let me show you what it looks like and what the size compares to and get the Meshtastic app out. We're going to hook it all up and see what you're doing. Again, this is probably something that if you're going to go to Hamvention or Orlando, Orlando's coming up soon. If you're going to go to a place like that or even like... Uh, 
some sort of outdoor gathering with lots of people, maybe a camp out or whatever, and you want to keep a meshtastic device like actually on your belt or something, this is going to be great for that. It's not. It doesn't have an external antenna port. Let's switch over to the overhead here and show you. There's no external antenna port. There's no. There's nothing on it except for it's got a button right here to turn it on. It's got a small speaker right there. And then the charging port is this magnetic connection on the back here. It comes with this proprietary cable. So it's not USB-C or anything like that. It is a proprietary magnetic cable. This right here, there's, there's magnets right there on either side. So you like that and then plug it into USB-A and that's how you charge it. It doesn't take long to charge at all. This battery right here in the back, you can see, is the battery that's internal to it. This white part right here. I told you guys I turned 50 last year, right? So this right here says, it's this is a model T1000 Echo. Uh, they call it a Sensacap T1000 from Seed Studios, made in China, S-E-E-E-D, S-Triple-E-D, Seed Studio. I'll show you the website here in a second. It sells for about 40 bucks, and I can't really see, because there's printing on the case over the top of it here, can't really see what the size of the battery is. It does say... It looks like it says 3.7 volt right there, but I can't see the milliamp hour size of the battery. Perhaps it says on the website here, which we can take a look at that real quick. This is the website for it. Like I said, $39.99. I couldn't find anyone in the USA that sold these. I checked my normal Meshtastic providers, and they didn't carry this specific model. Uh, but right now it says, good news, buy two of the T1000 Echo units and get two snap hooks for free. It's a special they're running right now. Okay, gives you a little diagram, shows that there. There, there's a guy right there with it hooked to the zipper on his hoodie. That's a good uh, good idea there. I did see somebody at the last Belton Ham Expo we were, at, we were at. There was a guy there that had this clipped to his belt, and he was just walking around with it. He's like, it's really easy to use, and it's non-intrusive. It doesn't take up a lot of room. You don't have to worry about an antenna poking. I've had mesh-tastic devices on my belt, and there's, anten there's an antenna on it, and you know sometimes you lean over or... You try to pick up something or you just turn it around or you get into the car and you forget it's there and either the entire unit kind of pops off your belt or the antenna gets bent and snapped. I have a really bad habit of bending antennas. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about this uh, with that. There's nothing there at all. That's all there is to it. The antenna is internal. So let's check this out and see what it looks like with the Meshtastic app. So if you can see this or not right now, I don't know if you can see this in the camera. This one is flashing right now which means it's powered on, and this one is not. So we're going to go with this one right here because that's the one I've got my carabiner clip on. All right, so to power it on, you, you to power it off and on, you, you long press this button right here. All right, so hopefully you heard that. It did a little beep tone, and then now it's powered off because there's no flashing on the LED indicator right there. So we're going to power it on. There it is. It took about three seconds, maybe four. You saw the LED pop on there and now it's flashing white it turns green for half a second when it powers on and now it's flashing white so now we're going to come in here to the meshtastic app right here and i'm going to go here and i'm going to add a device meshtastic fef6 i don't know what that govi thing is i'm going to i'm going to assume that this is an fef6 doesn't really say i tell you what here's how we test it let's turn it off it might say in the box, but I don't have the box for this specific unit anymore. Yeah, okay, it went away. Well, I wonder what that is. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so the only thing that comes in the box is the card itself and the charging cable. There's nothing else in the box. This is the box, right? This is the box to the second one right here. This, this, this box goes to this one. I don't have the box for this one anymore. But there's nothing in, like right here, yeah, there's no indication of what it's actually called. There's an FCC ID, input is 5 volts at 0 0.36 amps, nothing nothing really else about what the Meshtastic is named. So, we're going to assume that this FEF6 is the one here, and the pairing uh, pin code is 123456. I know that because I watched the seed video instructions on this device, and here we go right there. Now we're connected, okay, it's going to want you to set your region first, United States is where I'm sitting, okay. And then I can, and now we've got the, the arrow right there, which says we're connected. All good there. And then I can go here and see, I uh, just beeped at me. I'm not sure why. 
This one right here, this random 01 WT47, is something I picked up the other day. Um, it's not something that's there now. Hops away is question mark. But this right here, this is this FEF6 is this little guy right here. So you just very basically carry this thing around on your belt. I can rename it if I want to. Probably do that here in a minute. Carry this thing around on your belt, like I said, when you're at an event or a festival or something like that. And then if there's anyone else that has a meshtastic device set up on the premises there with like on a on a pole or a tower or something, then it'll be easy to do. This or it, it'll be easy to connect because you always have your smartphone with you anyway. So you can get your smartphone out and say, oh, there's somebody on Meshtastic right there. So I'm going to test this at Winter Field Day, which is upcoming soon. We're going to set up some Meshtastic nodes at Winter Field Day at the end of January 2025. And I'm going to carry this around uh, on me and see what kind of activity we can see during that event. Should be about eight or ten of us there. Maybe some guests come along during the day. And, um, you know, it's going to be a fun event either way but this is definitely a very cool device like i said because more than and quite frankly the the thing that i liked about it the best is that it doesn't have an external antenna okay if you need something with a, with an external antenna or with a better range on it then there's certainly devices like that available out there okay but if you want something that's just easy you can literally put this in your wallet or your pocket you're not going to mess it up you're not going to damage it you might end up if you sit on it or something you put it in your back pocket and you sit on it you might end up pressing that button and powering it down but it's not going to be i wouldn't suggest sitting on it really that case is pretty tough but you never know <laughs> i mean you know you could you could ease some of you ham radio guys that order uh, triple and quadruple xl t-shirts on my website you guys yeah be careful with that so <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I've broken stuff by sitting uh, by sitting on it in my pocket many, many times. But uh, this is a neat device. I'm looking forward to using it actually in the field. Thank you to Seed Studios for um, sending this to me. And uh, I'll put a link to the website, uh, to the to the device on their website in the description below. You guys can go check that out. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Let me know what other... I've got two or three other meshtastic devices that I want to do videos on or that I that I have in my possession to do videos on. Let me know what meshtastic devices you guys want to see. What kind of setup you want to see on this channel and uh, we'll talk soon 73